What up guys, your boy BZ back again with a quick video. The past couple days, I haven't really made a video, uh, even though I did say, I know, I know. I said I was going to do a video every day. I posted a little meteor video because like, I was literally driving down Hall Road in the Burbs and I saw, I thought it was a missile. I was like, damn, you know, where can I go? I got to get out of here. I thought Kim Jong-un was like bombing the D. I was like, oh shit. Damn, dog. We're just trying to build Chryslers over here. I don't know why you want to bomb us, dog. We're not DC. But it turns out it was a meteor. And I didn't get a video clip. So that clip y'all saw was somebody else's video. I deboed it. I'm from the D, bro. We I deboed that video. Reposted it. I edited it, though. You know, I had to get a zoom in on the meteor, right? Some of y'all thought it was cool. I bet a lot of y'all hated that shit, but this is my channel. Who cares? Okay. I remember uh, one thing I do want to update you guys on is I do remember saying that I was going to get a new P.O. box. I was going to get a new P.O. box, and then I realized I had to apply for it. Put the deposit or pay for it, get a new key, blah, blah, blah. And then I would have to go on every YouTube video, which is like two to like 400. I don't know. I lose count. I just put the crap up. I don't, I don't count the videos. I had to go in every description, change the P.O. box. And I said, you know what? Screw it, man. I'm just going to go to, um, I'm going to go to the, the P.O. box. It's like 25 minutes away. My homegirl, Denisha, works there, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kenny, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Z. These are my people over there. I said, you know what? I'm just going to keep the same P.O. box. I won't even be in this office, guys. This office, I'm going to give it like six months to like the end of this year, end of 2018. We get in that house in the woods, bro. We get in that house in the woods, and it's going to be right on the lake. And the video content is going to go nuts, because I already got it planned out, man. I'm going to have a room in the crib, four videos. It's going to be lit, like literally lit with good lights, good camera. I'm going to be riding four-wheelers. I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be doing wild shit. I'm going to be bringing Detroit to the middle of nowhere. I don't want to say the city, because I don't want people to know. You know what I'm saying? Like... Not you guys. It's whatever. But, you know, I got people that lurk my shit. Like, people I used to be homies with in high school lurking my shit. I got ex-girlfriends lurking my stuff. Haters. I don't want them to know where I be staying. You know what I mean? But, I figured, if I'm not going to be here forever, I might as well just keep my P.O. box. All I had to do was go pay 30 bucks keep it you know i don't have to change no descriptions i have to get a new key i don't have to worry about nothing um so uh that's what i did so false alarm you guys can send packages again i know i told you told you guys to hold up on the packages but you can send the packages again um if you want me to review your brand send your clothes to me you know send a note let me know who you are and I'll give you some shine on this channel. I'm not stingy. I'll give you a little shine. You know, two, three, four hundred views. I'll, I'll hook you up. Because nobody was doing that for me when I was coming up. People didn't start reviewing my brand on YouTube until I had like, I don't know, what do I got on Facebook? Like 20,000 subs 20, followers. Like what, 16 on Instagram? I don't know. Who's counting? Who cares? Um, but yeah, I'll give you guys some love. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You know, I'm selling duffel bags. Shout out to this guy. Shout out to Josh Surma. Thanks for buying that duffel bag. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I kind of need your guys' help. Like, I really want to know what I should be filming. The past three days, like the, pretty much the days I like, wasn't making videos... I was actually doing all of my accounting, so going through, setting up my goals for this year, my monthly goal, my daily goal, my average monthly goal, like, I have, like, uh, it's like four or five different goals, sales goals that I have to hit, 
every day. You know what I'm saying? I want to beat last year's daily sales goal. I want to beat last year's monthly goal. I want to beat, you know, you get the you get the idea. So I was like doing all this math, and I I'm like one of those people. I don't really I I can't really focus that well. I like to I like to be hands on. I like to create shit. I don't like sitting and calculating, um, but I had to do it. So there's a few days of mathing. I know if I used Excel, I'd probably just it'd be done for me. But I don't know. There's just something about writing things on paper and seeing the numbers in a physical manifestation that makes it more real for me. Because I literally have to write every single character versus just typing it into a computer. I don't know if you guys are the same way, but when I have a to-do list on paper, I, I see it. It's right here. I don't got to open the app and swipe through the app. Whereas when I have to do this on my phone, I feel like a lot of that stuff never gets done. Okay, with that being said, this is three, week three of one meal per day. And I only do that five days a week. So Saturday and Sunday, I do whatever I want. I eat all the sushi I want to eat, you know. But, um... Yeah, what kind of stuff should I put on this channel? I don't... I'm not drawing blanks, guys. I'm drawing blanks. I'm trying to make videos here. Um, got a little over 7,000 subscribers, I think. 7,200 subscribers. Um, and, like, 10 people comment. So, I don't know if... The, what's going on? Are these subscribers fake? Are they real? Are y'all just waiting for me to make another video? Like that first video where I was on the couch and I'm like... Oh, this is how you start a brand. Is that what you want? What do you guys need me to do? I have some some pretty dope ideas for... Um, I got this huge stack of old shirts over there. Like, literally old, old shirts. I have, a, I have some really dope ideas what I'm going to do with those. I have other ideas. I'm just full of ideas. It's time to execute. It's like, after 9 o'clock, I'm still at the office... I think I would be here all night. I got a vacuum. I got a dust. I got a white dog face off of like the couch and stuff. He likes to put his little stinky face on things and leave like a snail trail. But um, yeah, I guess this is just me updating you guys on what's going on. Shut up. I know I touch my hair too much. I have anxiety. It just happens. So all, all the haters that said that one in one video, oh, you touch your hair. Yeah, I have anxiety. I don't care about that, bro. It's amazing. I can even talk to the camera and get these videos out. I'm a creator, man. I'm a creator. I'm not much of an entertainer. Unless you guys think I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But um, the winter collection is available. Suede dad hats, velvet joggers. I have one oversized sweatshirt left. It's got a utility pocket on the sleeve. It's real lit. Um, I got a handful of duffel bags left. I only got one of the gold ones. Um, I got the classic tees in the gray, the red, and the gold color. And all three of those colors match the duffel bags. Uh, but yeah, if you guys, you know, support the channel, go to epionworld.com, pick some up. Um, I do have all those decals that I got from, uh, 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 Silver State Brothers Media, I think that's what they're called, um, or Discord Customs or whomever, um, they're not on the website yet, but I will be adding them soon, it's just another thing on the list of things I gotta get done, but, um, what do you guys think, what do you guys think about the house idea, you think that would be tight, you think it would be tight to, like, Get a crib in the middle of nowhere, ride four wheelers, make a ruckus, have big bonfires, and then like what I want to do is like when I have the uh, when I have the the house in the middle of nowhere, what I want to do is um like invite people out, so like have special guests come out. I am friends with like people that I guess you would consider famous. I do have some some friends that are like, come on, bro. That are like cool people. Um, like when they come to town for a show. Like invite them out. So instead of staying at the hotel. You stay at my crib. And then we just do. God damn. That's a heartburn. I'm dying. Uh, and then we just do cool shit. What do you guys think? What do you. 
What's going on? Let me know about your life. Tell me about what you guys got going on, man. I, it's always like a one-sided conversation. I lost all my friends. I picked up this camera. And I'm talking to you guys, but you won't talk back. That's the problem. Y'all got to hit me up in the comment section below. And YouTube. Um, I had a few people comment like, yo... I was unsubscribed from your channel, but I didn't do it. I don't know what YouTube's doing. They're playing some trickery. If you actually care about this channel, hit that bell. Because basically, when I post a video, it's going to say on your phone or whatever, Epion Royal posted a video. And then you can go to Epion Royal and watch the video. Otherwise, like a lot of my videos aren't showing up in people's like s sub, sub list thing. Um, probably because I'm such a small channel and I upload all the time. So YouTube is like, ain't nobody trying to watch this. You get 200 views per, per video. We we'll don't know what type of tomfoolery you're posting. But uh, we're going to show people this PewDiePie video instead because it gets more views. I'm like, I know. But I'm like going crazy in here. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. So I've been in business nine years. That's pretty crazy, right? Nine years in business. Epion Royal. I started in, um, I, I, like, I legit started late 2008, but, like, not, I was, like, an actual business, like, late 2009, but I was selling clothes all through 2009. Pretty much the day I got shirts printed, I never stopped. Like, I, there was never a break. There was never a moment where I said, oh, you know, like, let me stop for a month. Like, let me... I never treated this like a side project. I was, like, dedicated. I would, went to the office when I had an office that was, like, a 6 foot by 16 foot room with no windows. I would sit in there with my laptop, my old ghetto laptop, and I would have it on my chest because I didn't have a desk. And I would sit there with a the laptop on my chest, and it would get so hot that it would, like, give me rashes and stuff. But I was just so determined to milk that myspace milk that facebook get out there to as many people as i could you know um damn that's i mean maybe this this content for i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about my nine years tomorrow so for those of you who like long ass videos tomorrow i'm gonna turn this phone on again and we're just gonna go all the way in i'm gonna tell you guys about the beginning of the brand the ups and the downs let y'all know you know because i'm i'm the type of dude i grew up with the with the oven open for the heat i took super fat like for example let me tell you guys a little side story and i'm gonna hang up the phone with you guys no you hang up the phone um like i really worked hard for this brand there's a lot of sacrifices i made um to even, I mean, I don't even think I'm in a, a big position, but like, locally, brands just die, man. You got people, like, they, they start a brand, they get a little buzz, and then they just go AWOL with their ego and just start sexually assaulting people and going crazy. You got people that start a brand, and then they think they're like, like fucking Mark Cuban, they think they're Damon John, and just start walking around in suits and mingling, like... Bro, I'm a creator. I don't be doing that shit, man. Like, to think that this little brand has been around for nine years, uh, coming on nine years, nine years, I don't know. I don't know how to do math. It's nine years. We'll just say this year counts as nine years. And then next year, I'll just say ten instead of waiting for, like, the exact day that I started. Um, but, yeah, like, nine years of selling T-shirts, like, without breaks, it's crazy to me. It's crazy. Some people can't even keep a regular ass job for that long. I don't even know what it would be like if I even went to a regular ass job. But man, I made some sacrifices. I took, um, back in like 2013, uh, 2012 to 2013, in that between those two years, uh, like I didn't even have hot water. Like at my house. Like, I didn't even have hot water. Let me put it like that. Winters here are be way below zero. Not just below freezing, below zero. I was taking showers in the winter below freezing. Like, literally water so cold, it sucks the lung air out of your lungs. Like, 
when that when the the furnace would go off and we don't know how to fix it we're banging on it with with like a hammer and this like little actuator thing uh ask brian Lowe. he knows all about that we lived together for a couple years we didn't have hot water i didn't have a lot of times the furnace wouldn't work it would be like five in the morning you wake up freezing like just like snot snot frozen your face and you're just freezing to death like what the hell is going on and you like shiver your way to the to the furnace you start beating it on this little part with a hammer like the part was like a hundred bucks but to me i couldn't justify spending a hundred dollars to fix the furnace i don't know maybe some of my maybe some of y'all have been in that position too but it's like you don't know what it costs. You don't know how to fix it. And everybody that does some kind of service like that, they always, like, they'll, like, literally take advantage of you if you don't know better. You know, like, that's the problem. Like, if you're not knowledgeable of something, people exploit you. And it's like, I was afraid to spend, like, $100 on a part. Uh, I didn't have 600 for a water water tank, water heater, whatever you want to call it. Like, I was taking cold showers, waking up and freezing. Like, literally could have snowed in the house. Like, that's how cold it was. Um, and I made a lot of sacrifices to be here. I'm still not where I gotta go. So to have you guys watching this still after 16 minutes, I really appreciate it. I know I ramble a lot. I rant a lot. But maybe, just maybe, somebody out there can empathize and relate to me because... I know what it's like to grow up poor. And I know what it's like to look around. You don't have no examples of what to do. You don't have no examples of how to live. It's just hopeless. Then you just start thinking, oh man, maybe I will get a job, stay at Red Lobster. Man, mate, college is just out of my reach. Oh man, you know, I will just drink all weekend. Oh, I will just smoke all, every night after work. I'm not saying that's what I do, but I'm saying a lot of people coming up in slums like that's what they do they they have like a horrible job they accept their fate as inevitable because they have no examples and i know a lot of y'all don't really know me like that so hopefully i could give you some context so i could be that example i know i'm not filthy rich i mean i do okay but i'm not rich um maybe i'm just like another step up above where you're at and you could just use me as a motivation to get up to where I'm at or past where I'm at. But uh yeah, I'm just passionate. I'm sorry, I don't mean to I don't mean to rant this long. Um but I've been in this office all day. I went to my account and I, then I came here. Boss isn't even here, so I'm super by myself alone. And uh, you know, you guys are my friends and family, so I really wanted to holler at you real quick. Uh, like I said, we're on the road to 10K. Like, honestly, if I hit 10K this year, I'll be super happy. You guys have no idea how much that would mean to me, considering most of my videos are filmed on this phone. It's a dope phone. Shout out to LG. Cut the check. Um, but I'm not doing anything special. I'm not, like, you know, some of the videos, like, I put a little editing glitz and glam on there. But most of them, it's very utilitarian. You either want to get on this boy and listen to me for a good... 10 to 30 minutes a day or whatever it's going to be or you don't and for those of y'all that stick around for those of y'all that hit me with the thumbs up that's the biggest thing because when you hit me with the thumbs up it shows me oh shit they like this uh when people just come and thumbs down my shit it's whatever it doesn't bother me that much but the thumbs up is really what hits me like thumbs down doesn't really affect me thumbs up is like yeah let's fucking do it it motivates me to get back on here Get in the saddle again. Throw my middle finger up to the law. Ain't gonna ride nobody tonight. But I might do it just because I'm a nut. Alright. I'm fucking tired. Like That's like a recurring theme on this channel, yeah? My fucking... I got like dark circles on my shit, bro. Alright, guys. It's your boy BZ. I'm checking out again. Ooh, Man, hit the stop button, bro.